Are you expecting a big tax refund at the end of the year when you lodge your tax return but can't wait to get the cash to pay the bills you have today? Well, under the Australian tax system, taxpayers who have tax withheld from their salary, wage or other eligible payments can apply to have the amount of tax their employer normally withholds reduced so they can receive more cash in their bank account with each pay. This effectively brings forward your tax refund by increasing your regular take-home pay instead of one large lump sum. But how do you do that? I hear you say. All you need to do is complete a PAYG withholding variation form and file it with the ATO, who will assess your form and, if they approve it, will tell your employer to withhold less tax from your regular pay. That's it. That's all you have to do. Now listen up and I'll explain how this works, who it works best for, and how you can apply to to get your tax refund earlier. The problem with tax deductions is we usually wait for the financial year to end to submit our tax return and then wait patiently for our refund for up to 28 days to be paid into our bank account. Even if we lodge our tax return early, it could be until August or even later before we see the cash in our bank account. While this is fine for many people that have small amounts or no tax deductions at all, it can create serious cash flow problems for salary and wage earners who are also property investors or those who pay for many work expenses with their own money like car expenses or those that make extra personal superannuation contributions each year as their pending tax breaks are so big they can't can't afford to wait until the end of the financial year. This could be thousands of dollars. For many investors or employees, tax breaks make it affordable to own an investment property, carry on a work activity for their employer, or prepare for a retirement. To highlight the importance of a PAYG withholding variation, let's take a look at a common example of someone with large tax deductions, like a property investor. For a typical $400,000 investment property over one year, a property investor will have something like rental income of $19,000 dollars interest expenses of $27,000 and other general expenses of about $4,000, giving a pre-tax cash flow of negative $12,000, which is a loss. According to these figures, you'll need $12,000 per year of your own money to support the property while you wait for your tax return to be lodged. Now let's look at the same sums on the same property, including tax breaks. So if we add in the tax break of $9,000, the after-tax cash flow is negative $3,000 compared to $12,000. Clearly $3,000 per year or $57 each week is easier to manage than $12,000 per year. These negative gearing tax breaks makes investing in property or other assets like shares much more affordable for the average taxpayer. This is where PAYG withholding variation forms come into play, allowing you to receive your tax breaks each time you're paid by your employer. Once approved by the ATO, your next available take-home pay effectively increases as less tax is withheld by your employer, which continues for the rest of the that tax year. So the total tax break you expect to receive will be evenly spread across the remaining pay periods left in that tax year. Keep in mind you'll need to apply for this each year for as long as you expect to receive the tax deductions. If you change jobs during the year, you'll also need to put in a new application to the tax office. Now there are two different ways to complete a PAYG withholding variation form and one that I highly recommend and I'll explain which one it is and why. But before I do, please remember to hit the like button for this video and also please consider consider pressing the subscribe button for my channel for more content like this. Thanks a lot. The first way to complete a PAYG withholding variation for individuals is to lodge it online by logging onto your MyGov account. Once logged in, you should select ATO, Tax, Manage, PAYG withholding variation. Now there are a few sections you need to work through in this form depending on which type of tax deduction you expect to be entitled for. There are many more others to consider too like mobile phone costs, interest expense deductions for owning share investments and so on. I'll include a link in the description of this video with a list of deductions you can use the PAYG withholding variation form that has been prepared by the ATO. The questions can be quite lengthy in this form and for some it can be almost like preparing your tax returns based on estimates which which is why I recommend to most people who are not familiar with this form to talk to a registered tax agent and look into paying them to complete it for you at a reasonable price. Making a mistake with this form can be very costly and paying an expert can ensure you are paid accurately with more money in the bank faster while helping you to sleep it easier at night knowing that it's correct. If you're interested in more videos from me then I recommend the video appearing on your screen right now which will help you save even more money.